What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. We have two excellent players matched at the point guard position. It's going to be interesting to watch how they each try to get their team involved throughout the game. Dick, we got two great teams, two ranked teams battling out here tonight. Anytime you got a matchup of this caliber, you can expect a great game of basketball. Well, the interesting thing about these teams is that everybody on the roster is pretty good. Both teams are getting national attention. Win or lose, this is a great test for these teams to learn and develop. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. And, of course, his season average. Stats only tell part of the story, Brad. But as a coach, if you have a few players who can average double figures in multiple statistical categories, you're a lucky guy. Power forward takes the pass. So Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. There may be a pick and roll here, Dick. You've got to love the pick and roll, especially when it's run to perfection, Brad. He buries the jumper. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Bust the jumper. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brian Nessler. We've got a good one going. They're just having a devil of a time getting good looks at the hole. That's right, Brad. I haven't seen a whole lot of plays carried out and executed the way they should be. And he misses the shot. Coffey receives the ball. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. Coach is really into it, barking out signals, man. They go into the low block. Now the turnaround jumper. Missed it. Gets the rejection. Kicks it out. Jumper. Nails the J. And we're at the eight-minute mark. A little two-man action. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. No good from the field. For two, he can't get the bucket to fall. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. On the left side. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dick, they're really running their offense through the high post right now. Anytime you get a player in a high post, you put pressure on the defense. And that can lead to big breaks over the course of the game. Looking for a good shot. The 
About seven minutes remaining on the game clock. Kicks it out. He attempts the three. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Coach has been very animated over here on the sidelines. His team is doing a great job of following strategy and playing that up-tempo style. I'm sure he'll continue to encourage them over the course of the game to ensure they don't stray away from what's working. Aaron Andrews always close to the action. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. Out on the wing. Now trying to feed the low block. In the lane. He makes the jumper. to the action here after the timeout. They work the perimeter. Six minutes left on the game clock. Cross court. There was no doubt about that one. The crowd starting to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Looking to move it around the perimeter. up for two. It's good. We're at the five-minute mark. Down in the low block. He shoots from the deep corner. Off the mark. Game to game, Dick. What might we expect from a half-court oriented team? They sure do, Brad. They operate in a manner which is very strategic. They run sets and often shoot the ball late in the possession. The Salukis have been getting it done tonight in a lot of different ways. You know, as a coach, it's great to get all five guys on the floor working together. That's how you get wins. It takes the pressure off of your stars and gives the opposition fits. Gave it up. Goes up with it. Can't connect from in close. Stanley receives the pass. He puts up the tray. Plus the J. For two, they don't seem to be getting any decent shot opportunities, Dick. Because they're looking in the wrong places, Brad. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Four minutes left on the game clock. Tries a three. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Now that's how you take the ball to the basket. Well, he spotted an opening, and he just absolutely great first step, and he exploded to the goal. Now they work it around the perimeter. Finney picks up the foul. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, with a capital A. This is what he's been able to bring to the court per game so far this season. Every game you have to bring it. It doesn't matter if you have two points or 20. Everybody in the squad has to be ready to get it done if they're called upon. They work it into a double team on the post. Knocked it down. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. 
And the ball's out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. About three minutes remaining. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. For the bucket, he misses it. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Gave it up. He blocks the shot. Coffee handles the feed. On the outside. Tries for two. They've yet to put together a decent string of good looks at the basket. Hey, they're getting frustrated and playing right into the defense's hands. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. Well, here we have a look at one of the sophomores for this team. Brad, he's got that first year of experience under his belt. So this season, his team is going to be looking for him a lot more. Sinks it. Nick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. For the bucket, scorches the net. Working it around the perimeter. Takes his jumper. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. the perimeter Watch that screen. Watch that screen. great pressure great double team really explosive the Salukis can't afford to have him pick up too many more fouls oh it looked like he had an easy basket coming up but the defense commits to foul instead great play there Brad he was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket opportunity now for an easy one and there they miss one. Makes the second. Pushes it up. About a minute remaining in the game clock. He shoots from right of the circle and come up short. Number four handles the feed. The Salukis now looking for a basket in transition. For two, off the glass and no good. They move it into the front court. On the dribble, gives it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Tries for two, off the glass and no good. With a deep shot from outside. Out of bounds, and we're staying right here. One thing that's standing out is a fantastic display of shooting from three-point land. Hey, they've done a fantastic job from three. These guys are definitely feeling it. Every make is taking the bite out of the defense. I'm sure the coaching staff is wondering what's gotten into their team. Out on the left wing. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They're not doing a very good job of finding the hoop tonight, Dick. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not finding the open man. It's no good. At the half, the Salukis lead by 11. Southern Illinois gave us a three-ball lesson, Dick, in that first half. I'll tell you, a mighty lesson it was. I expect to see more of the same in the second half. Drive the longest lasting, most dependable truck on the road. They drove before it. Twinkie? Yeah. Looks like we made it. Chevy Silverado. From the beginning of your workday to the end of the world. Chevy. When we get going here today, these will be some of the keys that each team will be paying special attention to all day long. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who's been doing what. Looks like a full court man-to-man -man press, Mr. Vitale. On the outside, he uses the shot fake on the inside for the bucket. It won't fall. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the slam. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Stanley receives the pass. They're having an extremely tough time from the field here today, Dick. They can't buy one, Brad. This is embarrassing. That's a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Goes up for two. Great shot. that basketball up and inside he shoots from the corner miss after miss after miss dick their shooting has been horrid confidence has got to be an issue now brad they aren't shooting the ball with any confidence whatsoever it's brick city usa the salukis in attack mode trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing for two Oh, yes. Outside jumper. The missed shot. On the left side. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He is going to the line. Misses the first shot. Gets it. And we're at the eight minute mark. There's the block. And score it. 
This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Nope. Gave it up. Count that as a personal foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brian, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. He'll go to the line. Makes the first. Drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. Pushes it up. And we're going the other way. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. side trying to feed inside tries for two gets it to fall seven minutes left on the game clock Jarrett handles the pass had him in the low block but opted against it he shoots from the deep corner knocks it down Inside. He goes up with it. Can't connect. For the bucket. He rejects it. That goes out of bounds. And we'll stay at this end. On the inbounds play. Given handles the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. On the left side. Dumps it in. Will take the shot. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I'll tell you, great footwork, too, to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Takes the jumper. Nails the J. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. Two teams who are picking and choosing when they want to push the ball, Brad. And the block. Now you got to get back. Don't allow them to have numbers. Goes up for two. Puts up the jumper. Scorches the net with a J. They'll work it around the arc. From the top of the key. The Salukis have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Knocks it down. You always want your players going hard to the basket like that, right, Dick? That's a great job, Brad. Using his athleticism to get to the hoop and convert. Pushing in transition. The Salukis are going to have to change their style of play here, Dick. At this point, it's not about scoring. And it's blocked. Front work. To me, that's all rebound it is. Get your body between the hoop and your man and block out. 
Durham handles the feed. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. For two, he shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. That's good. For the bucket. Two with a lay-in. About three minutes remaining. Goes up for two. He misses the jumper. They work the perimeter. Shoots it. And he missed. Unusual mistake there by the senior. Now looking to attack. For two. He missed. For the deuce. Too strong. There's a double team waiting there. About two minutes remaining. Goes up. He misses the J. Tries for two. And he can't hit the shot. Coffee handles the feed. And it's knocked away. Great block. Wow, the horrific shooting continues. Wow, when a team is shooting a ball like this, I'm telling you, they're not focused. They're going to drive the coach bananas. Practice is going to be so tough tomorrow. I mean, they need repetition, repetition, repetition. And it's nothing with one brick after another. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The fighting Illini looking to attack now in transition. Dumps it in. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. If they want a chance to win, they really need a bucket here. Timeout's been called. Check in with Aaron. Based on the score and the time remaining, the coaches will be looking to calm their players down. Adrenaline levels may have shot up over the last few possession, guys, so the coach will be looking to reduce any anxiety. It should make for an interesting finish. Back up to you. Well, then, they've had a chance to talk it over. What do you think the players are thinking about right now? Hopefully they're thinking what they're going to do to win this game, baby. But seriously, they need to be thinking about their defensive assignments and what their coach wants them to do offensively. When the ball moves like that, it's really tough to stop. They're moving the ball with the pass, but in this particular case, it's been more effective than the dribble. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Gonna move it around the perimeter. Puts up the jumper. He misses the jumper. Well, it's time to start fouling. They gotta stop the clock, Dick. Let's check out this three-pointer one more time, Dick. Pushes it. And we'll head back down to the other end. You don't need the desperation three. It's a two-possession game. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. 
On the dribble, gives it up. He throws up the shot. Can't get the shot to drop. Foul, man. That stops the clock again. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. The small forward takes the pass. Foul, man. That stops the clock again. The offense sets up from the sideline. Pushes it up. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. This is the big time. Nails the sweet jumper. Southern Illinois played well against a good team tonight for the win. They'll be happy to walk away with a victory from such an evenly matched opponent. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.